Hey everybody, welcome back with my second video in the Effects War series with Jay from the Film Sensei channel. If you haven't seen previous videos on both of our channels, you can find them in the playlist in the description. Today I'll show you how I actually created the fire portal effect. Let's start off with the two clips that I used in this effect. I shot them both in 4K 30 frames per second with the color profile Cinelike D, which is a flat color profile so that I can color grade it later. One plate is my arm in front of a green screen which I lit up, and the other plate is the background of my room. I shot this plate out of focus so that it was more authentic instead of blurring it out in post. I created a composite shot and added in the arm plate. I masked around the area where my arm was moving in the shot. I then proceeded to add the hue and RGB key and I fiddled around with these settings to get the general key in place. I added a matte cleaner to smooth out the edges. There was still a little bit of green spill on my arm, so I added a spill removal to get rid of it. I also added the light wrap effect, which we'll use a little bit later on. I then added the background behind the arm layer. I went back to the light wrap of the arm and I selected the background layer there. This meant that the arm would blend in more with the background. Since I shot this piece of footage out of focus already, it meant that I didn't have to blur it in post. After the basic stuff was done, I started with the portal effect. This was all created in HitFilm Pro, no stock footage was used. I proceeded to create two new composite shots together with two black planes. One of the planes was the standard 1920 by 1080 pixels, while the other one was 1920 by 160 pixels. I named the first comp matte and the second comp portal. I went to the matte comp and added in the narrow black plane. This created a narrow black strip with a transparent background. When the matte comp was done, I went to the portal comp and added it in there. I turned off the visibility since we didn't need to see it. I then added the normal black plane to the comp and set its blend mode to screen. I turned the plane layer into a 3D layer and HitFilm automatically added a camera, which is what we want. I then proceeded to rotate the black plane layer on the Y axis by minus 40 degree, which angles the plane a little bit. I then added the fire effect to it, which generates surprisingly realistic fire. Under the flammable region settings, I set the layer to the matte comp we created. I set the channel to alpha. This leaves us with a thin strip of fire, but it is not yet a portal. This is where the polar warp effect comes in. This warps the thin strip into a circle. It leaves a little gap though since the fire layer didn't spread to the edges completely. What I did to fix this problem was to copy the portal layer and change the rotation of the polar warp effect on the second layer. This created a nice fire portal. I added the fire portal in the main composite shot, but as you can see here, it overlaps the arm layer. What I did to fix that was to add a rectangular mask on half of the portal. I duplicated the layer and inverted the mask on that one, leaving us with the other half. This means that I created two parts of the portal that seamlessly blended into one. I added the front half over the arm layer and the back half behind it. What I did next was to add a little bit more distortion. I created a new grade layer and added the heat distortion effect to it. To make sure that it only covered the portal, I needed to mask out the portal on the grade layer. I started off with an elliptical mask in the center, which I set to add and I changed the feathering a bit. I then added a second elliptical mask around the portal and set it to intersect. This made sure that only the portal was covered. However, a piece of my arm also had distortion on it. I fixed this by creating a mask around that section of my arm and setting it to subtract. I also keyframed the mask to move with my arm. 
but what happens now is that the arm moves out of the portal, which is not what we want. I added a second mask to the arm layer, making sure to cover the area we wanted to mask out. I set that mask to subtract. And we're almost there. Next up, I created a new great layer and added the light rays effect to it, positioning it over the left side of the portal, so that the portal emitted some light. I turned down the intensity a bit so that it wasn't too overwhelming. And that's it for the basic effect, but I also wanted to grade this footage so that it looked a little bit more cinematic. I added this composite shot to the editing timeline and I added the cine style effect to it. I turned down the color adjustment and vignette softness a bit to something that I liked. And that is how I created the fire portal effect. Don't forget to check out the other videos in the Effects of War series. Again, use the playlist in the description to watch the videos on both of our channels. I want to thank Jay from the Film Sensei channel ever so much for doing this collaboration with me. I had a blast doing it. I loved your effect. I loved the effect that you recreated. So thanks uh, to him. You can go subscribe to the Film Sensei channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already don't forget to like and leave a comment if you want to and i'll see you next time with a new video bye bye hi there thanks for watching click here to see my latest video click here to see a highlighted one and click here to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already